king of the giant slalom now for several years, the king of this mountain. It's been a Beaver Creek GS dynasty for Ted Ligeti, looking for his third straight world championship title in the GS. Well, three years ago, Dan, the skis changed, the special conditions changed from 27 meters to 35. Ted Ligeti did his homework. He tested skis, he trained, he developed and experimented. He mastered the skis quicker than anybody else. But in the last couple of years, everybody else has been catching up to him, but not on this hill. This is one hill where he can, he's still the dominant man. And Ligeti begins two tenths or so behind Kirscher. About two tenths now behind Olsen. That's the time compared to the leader right now as Ligeti heads down. He's gained a little bit. Four tenths for yeah. Ligeti. Ligeti confessed he made a couple mistakes. Those are maybe mental errors that happen on the way down. I'm not sure, but this time he has been spot on. This is the speed. He's concentrating that outside ski and just carving clean turn. When he won his fourth straight GS race here in December, he came back from the fourth position about exactly the same deficit as he is today, two tenths back of the leader. Here comes Ligeti, and now he's hearing it. Yeah, he is doing what he needed to do. There definitely was another gear. He's on the turbos right now. Ligeti's using that entire ski, and those legs look fresh. Those turns are still sweet, and he's carrying some speed. Bringing the hometown skier home, Ted Ligeti comes into the huge crowd at Red Tail Stadium, and Ligeti into the lead by more than a 